want to make a painting, you have an idea what you what you want to paint, and you you start somewhere. And with an engine, I think you always start at the also with an idea, and you start with the center, and the center is the crank drive, and then it grows from the inner to the outer. To develop an engine like this, uh, that's not so easy because everybody thinks development of an engine is just development of the performance. Okay, the engine has performed well, but the engine has to last, means the durability of the engine must be good, and also the drivability of the engine must be good. Apart from um, running the engine in terms of ignition and, um, and fueling, we have uh, fly-by-wire throttles. The software prevents the rear wheel spinning too much. Also, we can be preventative. Um, we can see how far the bike is leaning over. And once the ECU has measured that, then it can limit the amount of power going to the rear wheel. Particularly on this engine, I think the, the idea was actually to make a very simple engine. So simple, reliable and light. That's also like a weapon. Real world and it's dangerous. So you have to make really sure that the endurance of the engine is the case and it lasts nothing great. sure it's the most difficult project we, we ever started and then we should not uh, talk about success in 17. Uh, for me the first success is already today that we have the stuff together which can build a MotoGP bike on, on this great level. It's a very complex building so if you miss one link it's very difficult to be successful. Very important to find the right mix between being innovative, being new and being also conservative and reducing risks of doing something wrong. Sure, we are prepared now in, in many different uh, segments and, and uh, we can build a better motorcycle than 2004 and I feel pretty confident to go this way now. So the thing I feel is it is like a family because we're a small group of people and um, everyone helps out, everyone is supportive um, if you're part of a, a team. I mean the challenge in this, in this job is 
Of course, we work with so many different kind of people, which all have the same target. In a business where, at the end, only the success makes you happy. The others have a lot of experience, which we have to catch up. So we need to be very sure that what we're doing different, we're doing better. I'm sure the human factor we have behind all our teams, that's, that's definitely the key for successful racing. To have the great persons in the team and having this strong commitment from our company makes us a successful uh, racing factory. From the past, I knew that this, this factory is always really serious. They, if they start some project, they, they really like to be on the top level. And uh, that's why I'm here. I, I, I wanted to, to come back and uh, to, to try to help them to, to make the, the bike ready to race. We are very motivated to just bite our way into this, into this list from all these riders and go from position number 20 into top 10 one day and then look into the top five. Category with some passion also because you will need your time to to make your experience. The group what we have now behind of this uh, this project it's it's really really nice and I think we can sooner or later we can be on the top level.